Now for the second year's consolidation, what I tell, I usually tell students to try this out on their own. So I would suggest that you try this out. I'm sorry, pause the video first, try this out, and then see how you do and see if you, you understand it or not, and then go over it again. So pause the video and try it out. Okay, you pause the video. Now let's go over it. I just gave you your plus, plus, minus, plus. Let's do this big elimination entry. I'm going to debit income from special foods. I'm going to debit the beginning balance of retained earnings as special. And I'm going to credit dividends of special. I'm also going to debit common stock of the debit common stock of the sub and retained earnings. And I'm going to credit investment from special foods. Now I'm going to do some carry down stuff here. I'll just add my put in my subtotals. I'm using, by the way, in case you're wondering, um, I'm using the command C control right, control R. So what this will do is it'll fill in this formula in all the highlighted cells. The left formula will be filled in in all the right cells, in all the cells to the right. Um, now I got to fill in the numbers, obviously. So net income here is going to flow down to the statement of retained earnings. And remember the formula for statement of retained earnings again, beginning balance plus net income minus dividends equals ending balance. And um, there you go. And I've got to um, carry my retained earnings down here. It'll be 195. I put the number in before, but I should really carry it down from, from the retained earnings statement. And then I can make sure that my debits equal my credits by going plus, plus 395 and 395. So my debits, my elimination entries equal my credits. But there's one more journal entry I got to do. I got to do this elimination entry for accumulated depreciation, where the book calls the optional accumulated depreciation entry. It's not optional. Um, you debit accumulated depreciation for 300. It's always 300 because still sitting on specials books is that $300,000 worth of accumulated depreciation that the company recorded before they got bought by Peerless. So that is always there. And therefore, we're going to have to keep on eliminating it. And let me just highlight all these entries for you so you can see them. So they'll be highlighted and you can see them. And then let's add the whole thing across. So we got plus, plus, minus the debits, plus the credits. And then I do the formula I'm using here is the, um, not formula, the shortcut I'm using is control D. And I'll just fill in all the formulas for me. And I can see here that net income is equal to the consolidated balance. And um, it's going to be the same thing down here. It's going to be plus, plus, minus, one, plus. And again, ending retained earnings, the pure list equals ending consolidated retained earnings, as it should be. For the balance sheet, the asset side is going to be plus, 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 minus. And now I look at the numbers very carefully. The investment account has been zeroed out. That's good. Buildings equipment is $1,400 minus the $300 from the accumulated depreciation. Likewise, I've only got $40 in accumulated depreciation from the sub. That's right, $540. That makes sense. I'm looking at everything to make sure that it just makes sense because oftentimes the most common mistakes are things that would seem to, you know, that should just, be, but whenever in accounting a lot, most of the time when there's a mistake, it's obvious and you just have to look for this obvious kind of stuff and be creative about how you would catch it. So with liabilities and stockholders equity, um, again, assets equals liabilities plus stockholders equity. Honestly, I can't tell you how many times I get an exam paper where they don't equal. So you want to be very careful that they equal, obviously. And um, retained earnings is the same as ending retained earnings. This stockholders equity is the same as the stockholders equity of the parent. And um, everything seems to be good. So this is what your consolidation work paper would look like in the second year.